Well, some courtroom drama today in the death penalty case against convicted ISIS terrorist Saifullo Saipov. Jury deliberations were temporarily halted because a juror had to deal with a family emergency. An alternate has since stepped in, but deliberations had to start all over. Saipov killed eight people with a pickup truck on a bike path on the west side of Manhattan back in 2017. And now the jury will decide if he will be sentenced to death. I would News reporter NJ Burkett is live in lower Manhattan with the very latest on the deliberations there. NJ. And right, Liz, the sensitive deliberations hit a roadblock here this morning, as you said, when one of the jurors asked off the trial. That juror has since been replaced with an alternate, and the judge instructed the jury, as you said, that they have to begin the deliberations all over again. Start, he says, from square one. That's what they're doing. But what it means for Saifulu Saipov is that he may need to wait that much longer to learn his fate. Saipov was convicted in January for that horrific attack on the Hudson River bike path in 2017 that left eight people dead and injured 18 others, many of them seriously. Prosecutors described him as a proud terrorist who carried out the attack in the name of ISIS. Yes, jurors are weighing whether Saipov should be put to death or whether he should receive life in prison without parole. Now, this morning, juror number four called the court distraught, saying he could not continue due to a family emergency. Again, he was replaced, and the jury was forced to start all over again, as I said. And while in federal custody, Saipov threatened jail guards, saying, quote, he would behead them. Prosecutors said it was further proof that Saipov should be executed, that he is an ongoing threat even to the prison guards. Well, the jury asked the judge today whether they're permitted to consider that, and that is where we are right now. Deliberations are ongoing at this hour. We're live in Lower Manhattan, NJ Burke at Channel 7, Eyewitness News.